Hi guys, Cell Phone Hospital team here. Today we're going to be showing you how to remove the Google Catalog on this LG Stylo One. It is through Metro PCS. And the reason why we're doing this is just to, you know, when you simply forget your Google account login or you buy the device second handed, and I mean, it's out of your control. Uh, you know, you can't check that sometimes. So here we go. First things first, we're going to hit uh, next down here, uh, connect to our, go ahead and turn on Wi Fi, that way it scans. And go ahead and connect to uh, your desired Wi Fi connection. So let me log into mine. So just follow the steps closely, and you won't have any issues at all removing the Google account off. So once connected, it's going to prompt us for Wi Fi uh, calling. Let's just hit skip right there. We're going to hit next. Yeah, it'll take a couple minutes to check the connection, verify the updates, and all that good stuff. Once we hit that, Windows says device was reset to continue signing with a Google account that was previously synced on the device. Assuming you don't know or you forgot it, whatever reason. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is go ahead and click there, and we can just type anything right there. We'll hold it, wait till it highlights. We'll go to the three dots over here. We'll go to assist, and that searches. Uh, it brings up Google now, um, and that you can you're able to you know go to Chrome or go into the settings of the phone, which we're gonna do next. Is we're gonna go to settings, uh, and our main goal here is to be able to um, allow the <clears throat> the device to install unknown sources that way we can install a few APK files so right there it's grayed out we can't click it so we're gonna go to phone administrators we're gonna go ahead and click that and check that box and let's deactivate so we'll deactivate once we're there it's deactivated <clears throat> we'll go in there make sure it's deactivated that we're good next is we're gonna go to apps which is the same that general tab go to apps We'll go over here to three dots and go to show system. It shows everything in the system. So first thing, we're gonna uh, force stop and disable a few things. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Google Account Manager. So just scroll down and you'll see it. it's, alpha, it's in alphabetical order. So Google Account Manager, we're gonna go ahead and force stop, disable. We'll go back over here. Now we'll scroll down a little bit and we will disable these two things as well. Google Play Services, we're going to force stop, disable. We'll go back. Now, Google Play Store, same thing. We're going to force stop, disable. Go back. <clears throat> and then the next one will be LG Setup Wizard. So LG Setup Wizard, right there. Click there. Same, this one we are only able to force stop, so go ahead and force stop that. We'll go back. Now we're going to look for lookout. Go ahead and force stop and disable as well. Usually this scans like uh, any viruses or anything like that, so being that we're going to install a few APKs, it might, uh, you know, uh, give us a little error or whatever, so it's going a little slow, so we'll just hit back and we'll go back into lookout and hit disable. There we go. Now, so they should all have disabled. The ones that we're able to disable, they'll have disabled by there. So, no, oh, sorry. So, we'll, last one is we're going to go to Setup Wizard. Right there. Four stop. Okay. Now that we have done that, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do a, just do a soft reset on the device. So, we'll hold that back power button. Prompt says, let's do power off and reset. Hit OK. Give it a few seconds. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Comment if you have any other phones that uh, or a device that you need help with removing the Google account. Uh, if it's something that we're able to do, which we should be able to do, we'll definitely help you out and put up a video on the channel for you to view. So just, you know, I said, follow these steps that I just did, um, you know, in, in the order that I did them, and you shouldn't have any issues at all. So give it a second to start up. So now what we're going to do is hit next again. We'll go to Wi-Fi. It should connect to our Wi-Fi network automatically. So we'll give it a few seconds to connect to our Wi-Fi network. 
once connected you see up here that it's connected click on uh, another Wi-Fi network that's around one that's secured um, so I'm gonna click there and where it says show password make sure that box is clicked so just type any random thing this time we're gonna hit share right here that share button and click and hold on Gmail so click and hold it'll prompt this up go to data usage now we're gonna go to view app settings now over here the three dots is a menu so we're gonna click that go to manage accounts hit continue it'll put us in the settings again we'll scroll over to general go back into security and it should let us now it's 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 letting us click the unknown source so let's go ahead and hit allow let's go back over here let's go back into apps which is up here in that same tab or let's scroll down a little bit there we go and you don't have to hit show system just go to Google Play services and enable those again go back Google Play Store enable the other ones you're fine so we'll leave that like that so now we'll go back over here now let's search Google should be around somewhere around right here as well so now that we have found Google click it go to search and now now go to now cards click there go to show cards it'll prompt Google up again like it did previously now we're gonna go to Chrome then we're gonna install a few APK files so accept and continue no thanks is fine and just go to the website is V N R O M and it should pop up like that dot net forward slash bypass click it it should give you to this website right here I'm gonna zoom in we can download two files from here first one is that Android 6 Google account manager APK update permissions allow okay give it a few seconds to download let's not open just yet now let's go to FRP bypass okay give it a few seconds to download one more time don't hit open we're gonna hit back back again we're back right here go ahead and hit show cards again no thanks now instead of anything else we're gonna do download so do and then you'll see downloads right there click it we're gonna install this one first so We'll go ahead and click there install give it a second to install you can accept or decline it doesn't really matter almost done here guys so let's hit done now we're gonna install the FRP bypass APK file and this is a little neat the way this works so um, you're able to uh, now let's hit open on this one it should pop this up right there so don't hit a password here go to the three dots over here and you'll see browser sign and go ahead and click there hit OK and now the, the cool thing about this is you can sign in with whatever Google account you want it could be your personal one uh, I'll have one made uh, already so I mean that's just you know have one made ahead of time so I'm gonna go ahead and enter my personal email account and I'm not cutting anything out of video that way you guys know I didn't install anything extra on there so Now once it's saying sign in, it'll say taking a few minutes and it'll just put you back in there. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and restart the device one more time, a soft reset. So we'll do that. We'll do power off and restart. Let's hit OK. And give it a few seconds to boot up one more time. You know, make sure to disable all those uh, all those apps. You know, uh, Google Account Manager, LG Setup Wizard, your Google Play Store, and your Google Ser Play Services, your Lookout, and your Setup Wizard, all the way towards the bottom. Restart the phone. You know, go back to a Wi-Fi network connection, and you know, hit Share, or even on that uh, on on the actual uh, where it says to type in your email you can actually do that as well and share it through there so now we're gonna hit next one more time let it connect to Wi-Fi 
Once connected, hit next. Now you don't have to have a SIM card in this, so this is all via Wi-Fi. That's probably the, the best thing to do is to do everything through Wi-Fi. It's a little faster, obviously. So now it says account added. So that's the account that we just added uh, through the browser. So once there, it takes a few seconds, and uh, yeah, you'll get a different screen than last time. Then when you actually, you know, start the device, this should work for the stylo too as well. Um, it's it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you might, you know, have a little differences in the in the software, but other than that, as far as disabling, uh, you know, disabling those uh, apps on the system and downloading those APK files, it should be the same. It shouldn't be any different. Now that FRP bypass also should work on some Samsungs. Now, as far as getting into the browser, usually the, the difficult thing is to get into the browser on, on certain phones. Um, some LGs are pretty simple. Some Samsungs can be pretty simple. And we're doing this uh, OTG free, so no OTG cable, no computer, um, you know, all through Wi-Fi. You don't have to go out to the store and buy anything. You know, if you don't have a laptop, you know, oh, well, you know, you could do it like this. So it should almost be done here. Don't forget to give thumbs up to the video if you liked it. Um, you know, I was trying to explain it as best as I could and go through it thoroughly and then smooth as I could. There we get that date and time. So this is something definitely something new we didn't see. So now it has your email account. Said not now. You don't have to protect your device at this moment. Skip anyway. So now we get this. Go ahead and hit agree. Skip that and boom, you're into the device. Now what you can do is um, once you you're in here, you can actually go to your settings and. You can do an internal reset and you're good to go. So usually what I do is go here, I remove my account, go back, and now I can do an internal factor data reset, no problem at all. Security, I think it's there. Actually, no, it's not. Back and reset, there we go. So factory data reset. And now you can reset the phone and it is clean. It is good to go. But obviously if it's your phone, uh, you put your Gmail, you don't have to worry about anything else. But so yeah, that's pretty much how you remove the Google account on that LG Stylo 1. Again, it should work on the Stylo 2. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, comment. Thank you guys very much.